I'm in the wardrobe at the MTA and I'm sorting stuff out, uh, putting away all the costumes that we had out over uh, the winter and uh, putting everything in boxes and I just got a bit excited because they've had a lot of costumes donated and I found this. And this is uh, a real, actual, original Victorian bustle. Um, And it's gorgeous. Unfortunately, um, as an awful lot of stuff that has been lurking in theatres or costume hire places, um, it isn't in a great state. It's been used and it is broken and torn and uh, yeah. So I'm going to restore it um, and I hope you'll enjoy following along as I restore and mend in a uh, sympathetic fashion and make it uh, safe and whilst not probably usable uh, at least displayable and beautiful once more. Well um, it's day two at the MTA and today is audition day so everyone has been singing and dancing in the corridors and serenading me which is lovely it's just like living in a Disney musical and I had a chance to look at the uh, crinoline bustle a bit closer um, and one of the first things I looked at was these little bits here um, now on a kind of first inspection they look like rivets um, and it often says that things are riveted together and um, when I think of rivets I always think of something that's kind of two parts and they slot together with whatever's between it having a hole and then you hammer it flat and they kind of hammer. Now these actually aren't rivets in that sense at all. They're more like um, a kind of split pin. So they've got a sort of a nail head and then two spiky bits either side. So this sort of, that sort of shape. And what they do is they go down, they hold over the piece of wire or metal and then the spiky bits wrap all the way round like that and they kind of secure it onto the piece of tape which yeah it's really interesting um, and it does that all the way down all the way down these pieces and also these quite large ones here are done in exactly the same way so the actual ends of the wire, one of the good things about it being so disintegratedly is that I can actually see how it was made because you can see right through the fabric and you can see there that the wire has been pushed and then turned over and hit very hard with a hammer so that it's blunt. I mean, it's still quite spiky to be perfectly honest, um, but yeah, it's really interesting. I'm loving it. 